Amelia, known in the vampire realm as Lady Amelia, was not only a vampire elder of ancient lineage, but also a pivotal figure in the intricate power dynamics of her world. Born in the early 6th century, her existence was intertwined with the origins of the vampire race, as she was sired by Marcus Corvinus, the progenitor of all vampires. Her creation was a strategic move to balance the chaos unleashed by Marcus's twin brother, William, the very first werewolf, whose uncontrollable rage threatened to engulf both species in endless conflict. Amelia's role in the vampire hierarchy was both influential and complex. As one of the three vampire elders, alongside the enigmatic Marcus and the cunning Victor, she wielded considerable power. Her alliance with Victor was particularly significant, as it was a calculated effort to counterbalance Marcus's authority, which was often clouded by his emotional ties to his werewolf brother. Amelia's strategic acumen was instrumental in the capture and imprisonment of William, a feat that would have been impossible without her involvement. This act not only cemented her status within the vampire community, but also exemplified her commitment to maintaining order and stability. Her contributions extended beyond mere politics. Amelia was a founding force behind the establishment of various vampire covens, including the Nordic and Eastern covens. The latter became her primary stronghold, a testament to her leadership and vision. In the 21st century, she even extended her influence to the New World Coven in America, showcasing her adaptability and foresight in a rapidly changing world. Before we begin, I have a small request for you. If you enjoy my content, I invite you to join our community by simply clicking to subscribe to the channel. Your action, though small, propels these videos. I deeply appreciate your support. And now, it's time to begin. Amelia's personal life was equally rich and complex. Her intimate relationship with Thomas, another vampire, led to the birth of their son, David, a connection that added layers to her character beyond her role as an elder. The secrecy surrounding David's birth and existence, primarily due to the perilous nature of vampire politics, added a layer of intrigue and vulnerability to Amelia's otherwise formidable persona. Her final days were marked by treachery and tragedy. As she neared the end of her century-long reign and prepared for her hibernation cycle, a crucial part of the vampire tradition known as the Chain, she fell victim to a sinister plot. Betrayed by Craven, a member of her own coven, and ambushed by the Lycans, Amelia's demise was a stark reminder of the perpetual peril and deception that pervaded her world. Her tragic end, at the hands of Rays, a Lycan underling, and as part of Lucian's grand scheme to create a Lycan vampire hybrid, marked a poignant close to her long and impactful journey through the annals of vampire history. Through a series of haunting flashbacks and present-day revelations that intertwine her legacy with pivotal events in the vampire Lycan saga, her final moments are depicted aboard the Sancta Helena, a vessel that becomes a somber mausoleum for fallen icons of this age-old war. The Cleaners, a secretive group of human mercenaries charged with concealing the supernatural conflict, discover Amelia's lifeless form and transport it to this ship. Here, Alexander Corvinus, the original immortal and patriarch of the bloodlines, solemnly arranges her body alongside those of Lucian and Victor, creating a tableau of fallen warriors. In a final act of despair and resolution, Alexander detonates the ship, sending Amelia's remains into oblivion. The echoes of Amelia's life continue to resound in the Eastern Coven's castle, where Samira, unaware of the depth of Thomas's devotion, casually remarks on his and Amelia's past while observing a portrait of the late Elder. This moment underscores the intricate web of relationships and hidden truths that permeate the vampire hierarchy. The revelation of David's true lineage unfolds in the Nordic Coven, a sanctuary steeped in ancient traditions and mystic lore. Vidar, the coven's sage, unveils to David the noble heritage of his mother Amelia, shattering his belief in a more humble origin. The Nordic coven's month-long mourning of Amelia, a tribute usually reserved for the highest echelons of vampire society, reveals her esteemed status. Selene, connecting the dots, discerns David's true identity as Amelia's son and rightful heir to the Eastern Coven, a realization that Vidar confirms. This revelation is further deepened when Vidar entrusts Selene with a container left by Amelia, holding a ring encasing a single drop of her blood. 
This sacred relic allows David to experience his mother's blood memories, offering him glimpses of her life, her love for his father, and the circumstances of his birth, accompanied by Amelia's voice expressing her sorrow and intentions for their son. In a dramatic turn of events, following Selene's apparent demise, David confronts the power-hungry Samira at the Eastern Coven, asserting his birthright as Amelia's heir. Armed with vials of Amelia's blood, David provides irrefutable proof of his lineage to the Council. The Council, upon experiencing Amelia's memories through her blood, acknowledges David's claim, thus securing his position as the head of the Eastern Coven and resulting in the overthrow of Samira. David's ascension to power culminates in his appointment as one of the three new vampire elders, alongside Selene and Lena. This marks a significant chapter in the ongoing saga, as David steps into his destined role, honoring the legacy of his mother Amelia, and reshaping the future of the vampire world. What characterizes Amelia's personality in the Underworld series? Amelia's personality is a blend of courage, skill, and a deep sense of justice. As a warrior, she was fearless, often leading her troops from the front lines, showcasing her valor and leadership. Her strategic involvement in the founding of the Nordic Coven, as revealed in Blood Wars, speaks to her visionary nature and her commitment to her people. This act also served as a pivotal moment in her personal life, as it was there she gave birth to her beloved son, David. Her decision to conceal David's existence was a heart-wrenching sacrifice made to shield him from the dangers posed by Victor and the Lycans, highlighting her protective and maternal instincts. Amelia's rule was marked by justice and righteousness, in stark contrast to Victor's more self-serving leadership. Her benevolent approach garnered her the love and respect of her subjects, making her the most noble and admired of the three vampire elders. Her character embodies the qualities of a wise and compassionate ruler, elevating her status in the vampire hierarchy and in the hearts of her followers. What physical attributes define Amelia in the underworld universe? In her physical form, Amelia epitomized timeless beauty, with a youthful appearance that belied her 15 centuries. Her poise and elegance were reminiscent of an international supermodel, a description that captures her alluring and commanding presence. Standing tall with pale skin and dark brown hair, she bore the striking electric yellow eyes characteristic of vampires, a transformation from her original brown eyes as a human. In what ways does Amelia's attire change from her early appearances to later in the series? Amelia's wardrobe reflected her evolution over the centuries. In the year 1202 AD, she donned a suit of armor, a testament to her role as a warrior. The armor was adorned with intricate knots in the letter A, personalizing her battle attire. In the early 21st century, she embraced a more regal and refined style, wearing a long gray dress complemented by a gold choker and earrings, exuding an air of elegance and authority. The complexities of love and power in Amelia's relationships. The relationship between Amelia and Thomas was deeply intimate and complex. Their close bond and the shared parentage of their son David suggest a profound love between them. Amelia's separation from Thomas after David's birth was a sacrifice made out of necessity to ensure the safety of their son and preserve his future as her heir. This decision reflects the depth of her love and the weight of the responsibilities she bore as a mother and an elder. This maternal instinct was not only directed towards Thomas, but also profoundly influenced her relationship with her son David. Amelia's relationship with her son David was marked by a poignant blend of deep love and painful sacrifice. As her only child, David held a special place in Amelia's heart. Her emotional turmoil was evident in her tears when she had to part with him, a decision driven by a mother's instinct to protect her child from the dangerous undercurrents of vampire politics. Despite their separation, Amelia took deliberate steps to ensure that David would one day learn of her story and her intentions for him. She left behind a ring containing a drop of her blood, a symbolic and practical way for him to connect with her memories, and bequeathed her sword, signifying her wish for him to inherit her legacy. This protective nature and strategic foresight that defined her relationships with Thomas and David also played a significant role in her interactions with fellow Elder Victor. Amelia's relationship with Victor, a fellow elder, was characterized by a cautious cordiality. They shared similar ideals, as seen in their united stance on imprisoning William, Marcus's werewolf brother. Victor's rare display of emotion upon hearing of Amelia's demise suggested a certain level of mutual respect. 
However, the fact that Amelia concealed her relationship with Thomas and David's existence from Victor and his coven speaks volumes about her underlying mistrust. This cautiousness might have been rooted in a deeper political intrigue, as hinted in Rise of the Lycans. Victor's ambitions to strengthen his power base, potentially by replacing Amelia with his daughter Sonia, could have fueled Amelia's secretive actions. The extent of Amelia's awareness of Victor's schemes remains unknown but it adds a layer of complexity to their interactions. Such complexity in her relationships was not limited to Victor. It extended to her interactions with Marcus Corvinus, her sire, shaping a different yet equally intricate dynamic. The relationship between Amelia and Marcus was distant and strained. Marcus's anger towards Amelia over her role in capturing his brother was evident, yet Amelia seemed largely unmoved by this animosity. Their interactions, or lack thereof, were overshadowed by Marcus's overwhelming bitterness towards Victor, suggesting a relationship between Amelia and Marcus that was more ambivalent than antagonistic. Amelia's relative indifference to Marcus's feelings further highlights her independent nature and her prioritization of the greater good of the vampire community over personal relationships. In conclusion, Amelia's story in the Underworld series is a rich tapestry of love, duty, sacrifice, and power. As a character, she embodies the complexities and contradictions of her vampire nature. Though her physical presence in the series is limited, her influence reverberates through the lives of key characters, especially her son David, and the overarching narrative of the vampire lichen conflict. Her journey from a revered elder to a loving mother forced to make heart-wrenching decisions paints a portrait of a character who navigated the treacherous waters of vampire politics with grace and strength. Her sacrifices, particularly in protecting her son, highlight her maternal instincts and depth of character. The secrecy surrounding her relationship with Thomas and David's birth underscores her strategic acumen and awareness of the perilous dynamics within the vampire hierarchy. Amelia's relationships with fellow elders Victor and Marcus reveal a woman who was cautious yet respected, navigating her alliances and enmities with a keen understanding of the delicate balance of power. Her actions, particularly in relation to the capture of William and the safeguarding of her son, show a character who was willing to make difficult choices for the greater good. Ultimately, Amelia's legacy within the Underworld universe is a powerful one. She was a leader who was both feared and loved, a warrior who fought with courage, and a mother who loved with a fierce protectiveness. Her story, though tinged with tragedy, leaves an indelible mark on the series, epitomizing the eternal struggle between love and duty, and the sacrifices that come with power. Amelia's character, in all its complexity, will continue to resonate as a poignant and powerful figure in the underworld saga. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest content. We love hearing from our viewers, so please leave a comment and share your ideas for future videos. Thanks for your support, and we can't wait to see you again in our next video.